Join our hosts as they test the versatility of the Dorado 25 SE, a hybrid style boat that's designed to draft shallow and offer outstanding performance without sacrificing offshore capability. The Dorado 25 SE has an overall length of 25 feet, a beam of 8 feet 4 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 400. Designed with the Coastal Angler in mind, she has a draft of 15 inches, a dead rise of 14 degrees, a dry weight of 3,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 90 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Today, we're on a beautiful Custom 25 Dorado. Now, this boat is a, from a brand that builds custom boats made to order one at a time. The owner of this boat really enjoys fishing. He wanted to have this boat at its core being a guide serious fishing boat, so he wanted everything that a serious fishing machine would have on it, and they certainly helped him out with that. All the fishing needs are taken care of on this boat. Yes, but his wife wanted the sandbar experience. So they were able to incorporate that on top of the fishing boat, so everybody got what they wanted, and that's the true beauty of going in and customizing your own boat. It's what you and your family need and want. They can make it come true. Now we know the soul of this boat is really a fishing boat and as I said, a guide boat here. And you know, there's a couple of things that a guide is gonna always wanna have on a boat. And one of them that's really important to me, it should be easy for my clients or for a guest on your boat, if you, this is a private boat, to work around and fight fish around the boat in a circle and not be bumping into stuff or tripping and falling overboard. And this boat has that in spades. And it's the little bit more gunnel height that you get on this boat. That extra freeboard is enough to get you out in really rough weather. I mean, we went offshore today in some really rough weather and it handled it beautifully. You're not gonna do that in a real low freeboard bay boat. Yet this boat got us across a foot of water to get back up into some tricky little backwater spots so it's really useful in that sense. I mean, from a performance aspect, the Dorado 25 is absolutely not gonna let you down. Oh, make way there. <laughs> this is the best seat in the house right here. I mean, you know, you know me long enough to know that from a guide standpoint, I don't think a boat like this should be on the water without some kind of a second station on it. If you're looking for fish, if you're sight fishing on the beach, this is gonna help you out immensely. Once you have one, you'll never look back. You'll always have one for sure. Now, if you're a serious fisherman, and especially fishing guys, you're gonna appreciate the value of having a lot of live well capacity. The transom live well on this boat is 58 gallons. I mean, a 60 gallon live well in the transom right here is probably gonna be enough for most people for any day. One of the things that I really enjoy about this setup is that the opening is large enough that if you hang a sabiki rig in here, as your baits fall off, which they commonly do, they go into the hole, down in the water, not on the deck and probably one of the most important things for a guy my age is not having to get down on your knees to open up a hatch and get in a live well. That's really important to me. And this, you know, I mean, there it is right there. I can just bend over and take a scoop. Now this boat is also offered with a second live well up in the front of the console under a seat. This boat doesn't have it. They elected to put a drink box in there, but if you needed more than 60 gallons, you can certainly get it on this boat. Dorado has done an amazing job transforming this boat from the fishing platform up here at the bow to now the sun deck, the lounge area. So when you pull up to the sandbar, you're comfortable, kids are comfortable, you've got removable backrest. And lounging, you always wanna have a cup holder. And these are perfectly placed, look at you right now, George, off the boat. For a lot of people at the sandbar, music is a, is a huge thing. A lot of people are playing music. Well, this boat has a huge stereo system throughout it. Even right here at the bow, we've got two JL audio speakers. That's plenty just for up here. So this morning I sat up here for our morning runs and what I thought was extremely comfortable about this seat was not only the high density foam, but I've been on a lot of boats where there's a bar that will hit right here at the back of your neck and there was nothing there. So it made my experience a lot nicer being able just to relax my neck back a little bit. One of the small details that transforms this boat, again, to the sandbar relaxing for the family is right here. A lot of people will opt to put a live well 
they chose to put the cooler right here, which to me makes it so much nicer, especially at the sandbar when you're up here at relaxing. You don't have to move all the way to the back to get a drink. Dorado has made it really easy for this customer to enjoy the best of both worlds. No discussion about the Dorado 25 would be complete if we didn't address the performance aspects of this boat, and this boat really did a lot for us today. This is a very offshore capable boat. It's a 5,500 pound boat that's ready to go out and take on some really serious weather. I mean, you're not gonna go out victory at sea, but it's th this boat did well in three to four foot, kind of nasty weather today offshore. It also got us into a foot of water today, and we were in bonefish depths, basically, so we got in the shallow water too, and the boat really did well as a platform to go into uh, the sandbar too. Uh, a couple of other noteworthy features about the boat is the three and a half miles to the gallon kind of performance. And with a 350 getting into the 50 mile an hour plus range for top speed, you know, that's a lot. I mean, a boat that's a 5,500 pound boat that does all those things, really, there's nothing more to say than I couldn't be more impressed with a boat like this.